Hello my friends and welcome to the Walters Art Museum online! My name is Kelsey and I'm an education coordinator at the museum. I want to thank you all so much for joining us today wherever you are to look at art and to make art. Today we'll be taking a close look at the spiral fibula and then we'll create our own thinking caps. So let's get started with some close looking. What do you notice right away? What do you think this object was used for? What designs or decorations do you see? Trace the design in the air with your finger. A fibula like this was worn in ancient Greece. A fibula is a pin that's quite similar to our modern day safety pin. Fibulae at this time were intricately decorated and they kept people's clothes on. For more than 5,000 years, people have made pins, buttons, and brooches for fashion, function, and sometimes both. An object's function is what it does or how it is used. And now it's your turn to create something that is fashionable and functional. Working from home or going to school online can make it so hard to concentrate on anything. So when I need help staying focused, I strap on my thinking cap. For this project, we will use a paper plate, colored pencils, or any other coloring implement you have at home, paper, tape, scissors, and a piece of string or ribbon. These are a few ways you can choose to cut your paper. Can you think of any new ways to cut paper? Let's start by cutting paper for our thinking cap. These are a few of my favorite ways to cut paper. Do you have a favorite way to cut or fold paper? Now let's decorate it. I'm using pastels, but you can use any coloring tools you have at home, like crayons or colored pencils. I decided to make my thinking cap a rainbow thinking cap because my thoughts are bright and colorful. What colors or designs will you use on your thinking cap? If you have a hole puncher, use it to punch two holes on opposite sides of your thinking cap. If you have to use scissors, adult supervision is absolutely required. Thread a ribbon or a string through the two holes to create a strap so your hat stays on securely. Now it's time to attach the paper strips. I'm using clear packing tape, but you can use whatever you have at home. I want my thinking cap to be extra tall because I have lots of big ideas. Experiment with bending your paper strips in different directions and different shapes. Remember, big ideas take time to grow. That's all for now, my friends. For more information, be sure to visit our website, thewalters.org, and follow us on social media. I hope to see you next time at the museum. Bye!